AI tools that speed up creator workflows have been booming over the past few months, and it has left some people scared and confused, but others have taken advantage of it. For those of you that can act now, this boom in AI is an opportunity to make Kish. Today I'm going to share with you three ways that you can use AI to make money from using ChatGBT to write video scripts and an AI powered video editor to help you make faceless B-roll videos on YouTube to using ChatGBT to get copywriting gigs and lastly creating AI generated art that you can sell with the print on demand model. Let's get into it. ChatGBT is probably the most famous AI tool at the moment and for good reason. You can use this tool to write practically anything and ChatGBT can be an amazing tool for speeding up content creation and getting out videos that can get tons of views even if your face isn't in it. All you need is a script and then you can create compelling faceless videos using stock footage and b-roll to create videos that get millions of views. We can look at channels like Economics Explained and Real Life Lore and they never show their face. All they do is do a voiceover, add some b-roll, and then call it a day. There are so many videos on YouTube that are completely faceless that have millions and millions of views. These people are making tons of money. These videos continue to get views over time, people continue to watch them, and they just continue to get ad revenue for the rest of their lives. Passive income. So I'm going to be following this model. Firstly, I will show you how to use ChatGBT to get you video ideas and video scripts, and then I will show you an online video editor that has stock footage built into it so that you can create videos in record speed. Okay, so firstly, all you have to do is get on ChatGBT. If you don't have an account, make sure to make one. And firstly, you're just going to want to tell it what your channel is about. So all I have to do is tell ChatGBT GBT that I have a YouTube channel that's about the history of candy. I want five video ideas for content and I want this content to be shocking or say some conspiracies about big candy companies. Then it'll give me a bunch of ideas and I can tell it that I like this one. Then I'll just copy that title and ask about it. I'll say, okay, what is the story with this? Put it back into ChatGBT and say, help me write the script. What I often like to do is ask it for the script of multiple parts of the video because ChatGBT right now can only give you a script that's about like this long, like one full page. But if you ask it in chunks, it can give you a bunch of different pages and then you can just copy and paste them together. You can ask it to write the hook of the video. You can ask for facts to share in the story and create a script for the main portion of the story. And then you can ask it for the script of the conclusion, then get those answers, paste them all together, and then you have a script. So now you have the script, all you have to do now is make a video out of it. So obviously if you want to get on camera and talk about it, you totally can. I know not everyone wants to do this though. So in this example, I'm going to show you how to create a video just from a voiceover and B-roll stock footage. So all you have to do is go to kapwing.com, which is an online video editor that has AI tools that will help you create videos super fast. You can click the first link in the description and and then sign in and get started in making a video there. There, all you wanna do is go to the record button on the left sidebar. If you have a nice external mic, this is probably a good time to use that because you're about to do a voiceover reading the script through. Once you're done with the script, you can then go to the video and image tab on the left sidebar and you can search for B-roll to add to your videos. You can just type in something like candy or factory or conspiracy or sugar, anything that will relate to your video, just type it in and then you can click on the videos and they will be placed into your timeline. You can resize the videos so they take up the entire screen. You can add text overlays and elements and more just using the left sidebar here. It's a full studio video editor so you can make edits if you mess up in your voiceover and you can use things like clean audio which makes sure that the audio sounds its best and smart cut which will allow you to automatically edit out these silences in your videos and rough cut it in just a couple clicks using AI. So you can just edit all that together. It's super easy. Click the export button and boom, video for YouTube. You can also use Kapwing to resize the video, change the aspect ratio to nine by 16 vertical. So then you can use this same video and post it on all your social medias to increase your reach. Creating content has never been easier. ChatGPT can be an amazing tool for writing copy. It can help you write copy for websites essays, scripts, podcast scripts, and people are constantly looking for copywriters online to help them create compelling words for their websites, social media, and more. And if you look on Fiverr, which is a place where you can find freelancers, you can see how many different freelance jobs there are listed on there. From business copywriting to social media copywriting, search engine optimization copywriting, and advertising copywriting. And look how many reviews these people have gotten. There are tons of people looking for copywriters in all different niches. So obviously there's a lot of opportunities 
opportunity here. I will say that if you really want to be successful with this, you're going to have to find a niche. Do some research on what type of copywriting feels like it's not so competitive, so there's not a ton of other listings for the same type of copywriting. Figure out what type of copywriting is getting a lot of reviews and therefore search volume, and pick a type of copywriting that is easily accomplishable. So this is probably something you want to have a little bit of expertise in. For an example, in this video, I'm going to pretend that I am a copywriter on Fiverr for consumer products. So for ChatGPT to really be good at this, you need to tell it quite a bit of information. Obviously, you want to tell it about the type of copy you're writing and the tone that you want it to have, where this copy will live. So is it on a website? Is it on social media or elsewhere? What type of brand is it for? What are they selling? And what is the goal of the copy? Is it to convert people to customers? Is it just to get people to click on a link? Being able to craft a really specific and useful prompt for ChatGPT is really a skill and something you need to learn and get used to. So let's take an example. Let's say that I am on Fiverr and I get this client who wants me to write copy for their landing page on their website. The brand sells vintage pencils and it's called Back in Time Condoroga. Maybe I need to be a bad pun copywriter. Anyway, the goal of this copy is to get their target demographic, which is women from ages 40 to 60, to feel nostalgic reading about these pencils and open their shop link where they have a vast variety of pencils, including 1970s unopened boxes of Ticonderoga pencils, vintage mechanical pencils, and old stationery. I'm completely making this up, but let's just say that this is true. So you wanna tell ChatGPT all this information about the brand and what they hope to accomplish from the copy. You can also tell it what type of mood you want. So say, I want it to be nostalgic. I want it to be easy to read. You could tell it you want it to use imagery or have the person reading it have to imagine something like, having to imagine when they were back in school. And then put that in and hopefully ChatGPT will give you some great copy. I will definitely say make sure you read over it and also edit it. Like with anything, you wanna have your own personal style. Therefore, if this person really likes your copy, they may recommend you to another potential client, a friend of theirs or something like that because they really like your style of writing. So your style really does still go far. So there you have it. Find your niche, advertise, be specific with ChatGPT and boom cash. Number three, you can sell AI generated art through the print on demand model. If you've never heard of print on demand, it's a business model where anyone can upload any design, add the design to products like shirts, mugs, posters, and more. And then each time someone orders one, a printing and fulfillment company will handle the entire process from creating and shipping your product to the customer. You never even have to touch it. You don't have to batch order anything ahead of time or put in any investment. Companies like Printful are well known for this business model, but there are a bunch of them out there. And a ton of people make a killing this way. So firstly, you want to research which print on demand company you're going to use. You might just want to take a look at their inventory for types of products. If you have specific products you want to use this art for. You also want to look at the revenue share difference. And you also want to look at the quality of products. Then you'll need to generate some art. I really like Mid Journey. I think it is the best AI generated art platform right now. So head to the Mid Journey Discord and start typing in some prompts. So you just use the slash imagine tool and you can imagine all these different art pieces. Like I said earlier with the writing gig, it still might be good to have a niche in your art style. So you can ask Mid Journey to create art in pop art style, or you could have everything be fantasy style landscapes. Your choice, but you just want people who like your product to then see all your other products that you have and buy them as well, of course. You also might want to get a Mid Journey paid plan if you do this, because at the higher tiers, you're allowed to get the highest quality downloads. You can upscale your images to the highest quality and get different aspect ratios of different images instead of just the average square. So once you have a compelling image and you've upscaled it and downloaded it, then you can just upload to your print on demand store. You can add them to different products like shirts, mugs, posters, and more. And anyone who likes them will be able to buy them. It might be a good idea to use certain search terms that people might be interested in buying. So if you can create art about, I don't know, trending terms or just using things that people might look up on the internet, that will help you get found. You also might want to experiment with paid ads. I know this is a bigger investment, but it's the easiest way to get a wider audience to see your products and get them to start buying. But yeah, you guys, those are three different ways to make money using AI. I hope this is helpful and I hope that you guys make your first million in no time. <laughs> make sure to subscribe to the channel to join an online community of modern creators and to keep up with other experiments and advice pieces like this one. And I'll see you guys in the next one.